This hope is brought to us by uh, Victory Shavings Company. The name of it is Hells Angels. And the um, scent profile is hardwood, bergamot, and vanilla. Comes in a uh, metal tin with a screw top lid. And it is filled all the way to the top. It's firm in the, uh, of course, in the uh, in the tin, but it's uh, soft once you scrape it out and put it in a bowl. And um, if you're wondering, this down here at the bottom is, um, that's a Morse code down there. And this is, um, I've got it down below. I'll have it down in the, with the uh, link and whatnot about what this, um, uh, about what the mission was about and whatnot. Anyway, yes, that'll be down below. <laughs> Still trying to wake up this morning. Got the uh, Allen Block without the rubber band. Still got a little bit of the unscented witch hazel that's methylated. And I'm going to be following up with the uh, Club Man aftershave. And off camera I'll be using the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. And yes, today is uh, Veterans Day that, that, well, some people got off today. I'll be going to work today. Um, got it whipped up here in a, a bowl with a uh, badger brush from uh, Green Country uh, Razors. Pretty cool looking brush. And that knot is just full of lather. And uh, the blade today is going to be the uh, Supermax uh, Platinum. Got it loaded up here in the uh, Focus Slim Owl aluminum. This comes by the way of Italy. Go ahead and get started here. The um, shave at there is uh, it's lightweight, well balanced. Uh, I think it weighs right around an ounce. It's a it's a pretty nice shaver. It's been a while since I shaved with it. Thought it might be time. And uh, I think later on in the week I'll try to do a quick little video <laughs> in an awkward <laughs> in an awkward way on how to uh, how to load one with the blade snapped in half. It's not too terribly tough. The way uh. I would say the preferred method would be is when you snap it in half, the bent ends to the shank side. But um, of course you could always use the uh, pre-cut blades. That way you don't have to mess with that. But it's not as, not as tough as what one may think. It's pretty easy to do. I know when I first uh, was looking at it, when that first rolled out, I was concerned about that sliding mechanism but it's uh, it works pretty well I was worried or concerned that it would not stay in place and uh, I have not had any issues with it I can smell the, the soap as it goes for I cannot describe the scent I can tell you that I can smell it I think it's the, it's not the bergamot, I think it's the hardwood that I'm smelling. It's kind of hard to tell for right now. I'm picking up the bergamot now. Thor is outside if you can't hear him. He's already came in once and made his appearance and he's swatting at me underneath the door. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started here. It has been a while since I've shaved with this. We are expecting some weather here today. Um, we're supposed to be uh, picking up some rain and it's supposed to be turning into snow. I think they're saying one to two inches. You know, for us, that's a lot of snow. <laughs> we normally don't pick up a lot of snow. 
but I don't think it's going to turn into snow till later on today. It, um, when I checked the uh, temperature this morning, which is around uh, 4 o'clock this morning, it, um, it was still at 39. And at first day, I think they were expecting the temperature to be cooler this morning. So, but our temperature later on tonight is going to be down below freezing. So that's what are going to be our best chance for snow. Typically when we get snow, it's kind of here for a day or two and gone. It doesn't stick around very long. Usually. On occasion we do have a moment or two where the um, <laughs> Snow does stick around for a while. It's been a moment. Showing how this loads on a uh, on a video at this position is um, a bit problematic. I'm going to practice a time or two more before I uh, before I do it. I tried to uh, try before this one here and I thought maybe I need to practice just a little bit more before I do it. The angle which I'm going to show it, um, whether I'm going to turn and go this way or try to do it this way. I want to practice a few more times before I um, before I do it. The uh, there's, a, there's two things that you have to even um, <laughs> even the kind of blade that you may choose to use one of these is, uh, you know, when it comes to DE blades, some have uh, a little bit of um, wax on them and some do not. And that uh, also will um, increase the degree of uh, difficulty in loading the blade because that sliding mechanism, that wax will have a tendency to get hung up on that wax with that sliding mechanism it just takes a little bit more effort but when you're holding it up here or whatever position you're trying to do it in and trying to do that it, it gets a bit it can be troublesome so I might try to use a blade that doesn't have any wax on it that way it slides better I usually just do a two pass shave with a shave bit I usually get close enough shave with a two pass shave. You can kind of tell this knot holds a lot of soap. There's enough in here for a whole nother shave. And I do whip it up on the wet side. I still smell it, which is pretty good for this morning. Usually with the change in weather, my nose doesn't work so well. It's been a lot of fun shaving with this. Shavettes in general. The uh, the journey has been a lot of fun. I know uh, a number of people will say that they're not near as forgiving as a um, as a straight razor. I started with the shavette, so for me, it's um, I couldn't really say one way or the other. Um, for me, with the area that I have to shave. A smaller, I guess you might say a smaller blade works well for me.
it has been more of a challenge using a straight razor or or even a hair shaper with a longer blade. It's a, it's a bit of a challenge for me. Something I enjoy trying to master. It's the journey. little bit of feedback. I don't I doubt that the the mic is picking it up, but I can hear I can hear it resonating through the, the <laughs> through the shaver. For me, I found that it was um, fairly easy to learn the angle with this because it's already beveled. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it doesn't necessarily cover the toe and the heel of the blade, but there's not a whole lot of exposure there of the toe and the heel. This is a really nice shave. If you're interested one in a shave vet, um, the price ranges are all over the map. The, I'll have a link down below where you can find one of these. They're not, uh, they're not the cheapest uh, shave vets by any means, but they're not the most expensive either. And you can find some that are cheaper. Um, anywhere from, you can find shave vets right around the $8 mark. Yeah. You can even find around the five dollar mark and on up and uh, find some with blades uh, pre-cut uh, 12 15 dollars with blades inexpensive way to get started uh, I would really suggest that you uh, when you if you're going to start shaving with a shave vet that you uh, approach it in a, in a such a way that you're know that this is going to be a process it's not going to happen overnight and just be determined but be patient a little bit at a time one cheek at a time in other words as you almost as if you're figuring out how you map your face on how your beard growth is you do the same way with a, with a shave it you just do this cheek for one week the next week you do this cheek and work it like that. In other words, just approach it a little bit at a time so that way you don't get discouraged if you try to tackle the whole shave all at one time. I know it's really hard to do it like that. I know I had a tough time doing it that way. But uh, <laughs> you might find that in the end you might appreciate it a lot more because you're not butchering your face up. <laughs> For me, I find that with a uh, with a shave at shave, that um, just doing a two pass shave is adequate. It's a, a sociably acceptable shave. It's not a BBS, but it's close enough that it it works all day for me. Uh, I don't need to do the across uh, the grain pass, but if I do feel I have a couple of strips right through here is where I typically feel the need, but it's just up here on the cheeks. I don't feel the need to do it on my neck, and for me the Cross the grain on the neck is the toughest ones, and but I don't feel the need to do that. So, in a way, it's also a quick and easy way to uh, get a quick shave in. It doesn't take very long. Once you do get get it mastered per se.
especially if you're not talking to it during your shave. It does go a lot quicker. I just got a little bit of stinging right there. Every once in a while on my neck somewhere, get the pressure off just a little bit, especially since I'm talking. It's a little easy to get a little distracted. Great shave though. I'm, this shaver here, it's not that I'm trying to sell it. It's just that I get such great shaves with this one. It's such a nice shaver. It's very lightweight. I know when I first started the heavier shavers I really favored and I still do from time to time but uh, I've grown to really like the lightweight one. Uh, boy howdy. It's a uh, really balanced easy to use. Uh, I would have to say this is probably the first shaver that I use that has a has a handle that I really do like. Uh, Camisori style is the one I really do prefer. Feather, Artist Club, boy howdy. It's easy to maneuver around my face. I really do like it. Um, that's my preferred one. That's that's my favorite. It's my favorite shaver, period, as far as that goes. And as it goes for the uh, Witch Hazel, this one here is it. Unscented, methylated. I do like the menthol. The cooling effect on the face is just really adds to the shave for me. Just feel it working on my face. It reminds me of Barbado aftershave. It really does. Having a great shave this morning. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. This is what it looks like on the back side. Gives you a brief description about what all the the uh, mission was, honoring the uh, the flight, the crew, and uh, also this was the uh, this is a truly a small batch. This was the fifteenth of the forty eight. Awesome soap. I really like this soap. I have a few of these. Probably don't do enough videos of these, but. Um, my, my timer's going off. <laughs> I better wrap this up here pretty soon. Got some club band here. Gotta get busy with it. In other words, I gotta get to work. Following up with a classic aftershave. Can't run too terribly late. Especially since I looked at the radar and the rain's supposed to be moving in. I don't think the temperature is going to be dropping much more. In other words, I think the roads are still going to be alright. I think they're just going to be wet and not going to freeze over, in other words. Last night when I first looked at it, the roads were supposed to get close to being frozen. But I think they've t tweaked the uh, forecast just a little bit. At any rate, had a great shave. Once again, shaver of the day. Focus slim. It's all made out of total aluminum. I think the, uh, the pins are... Uh, made out of stainless steel. I think that's the only part that's not aluminum. And this is, like I said, comes from Italy. Fantastic shaver. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.